Hi guys, today my video is about similarity between Swahili and Amharic similarity. Um, Swahili is also known as Kiswahili. It is spoken in uh, East Africa like Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Congo, Rwanda. Uh, uh, it's spoken over, uh, with over a hundred million people. While Amharic is a Semitic language which is spoken in Ethiopia. Uh, Swahili or Kiswahili is a, a language of a Bantu language which is influenced by Arabic. But the Amharic or Ethiopic language is, it is a Semitic language influenced by Cushitic languages. Today, you know, I found out that there are so much similarity between, uh, there is some similarity between Swahili and Amharic. Uh, but I wonder, is the similarity uh, because of the Arabic language or is it because of the Amharic and the uh, Swahili people or I mean the East African people living in Kenya and Tanzania there was some kind of a connection uh, you know in ancient time where there was no record um, so there was a relationship. Of course, there has to be a relationship because they are neighbors' countries. So uh, people will be traveling from Ethiopia to Kenya and from Kenya to Ethiopia. So who knows uh, if uh, this, uh, you know, Arabic influence is not because of the Arabic people, but because of the relationship between Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania those neighbors, those East African countries. So uh, I have collected some words uh, uh, which are similar. So let's see. The first one is that I've, I found is peace. In Swahili, it is salam. In Ethiopic, it is salam. English, come in. In Swahili, it is karibu. In Amharic, you know, uh, I I chose this word because even though the English uh, definition of the karibu is come in, kerb means it, it it means near. So you know, it the, the, the words are similar. Karibu and kerb, they are from uh, a common uh, a common word, a common root of words. And Kerb in Amharic means near. So come in and near, you know, there is, um, you know, they, they, they could be the same word. Then the next word that I got is forgive me or excuse me. In, Swah in Swahili, it is sama, Samahani. Samahani. Samahani, if you directly, you know, took it as an Amharic word, it, it, it means samachne, samachne, which means uh, heard, heard me, uh, lis listened I or heard I. It, it, it gives you the meaning of listen, listen, listened I or heard I. So, uh, excuse me, and um, even, even though it's not uh, 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 exact. Uh, definition of the word but it gives you that it, it gives a, 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 a close definition to forgive or to excuse kind of meaning the other word that I collected is uh, morning in Swahili it is as asuburi asuburi in Amharic a closer word to asuburi is asaba which means thinking you know so you know in the morning when you wake up you think you 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 think you think of what you are going to do you know, you, you start your process of the day so asuburi and and asaba asaba is uh, they seem like they came from a similar uh, common common root root word 
from, uh, from the same uh, root word, as suburi and as sub. Uh, the next word I collected is late afternoon. In Swahili, it is alasri, alasri. In Amharic, a close word to alasri is alasra, alasra, which means it doesn't allow you to work. It means it doesn't allow you to work. Uh, because, you know, in the afternoon, uh, it is getting late, or maybe in the afternoon there is too much heat, so you rest. So because of that, you don't work. So the common word me, m must be asara, the, the, the common word, the root word could be asara, and from that comes alasri. In, from Swahili, while the Ethiopic one, alasra, alasra, it, it doesn't allow you to work. The next word I collected is time. In Swahili, it is saa. In Amharic, it is saat. So, it is, uh, you know, the same. Minute in Swahili, it is dakika. Dakika in Amharic, it is dakika. Quarter in Swahili it is robo in Amharic rub. So it's, it, it, they are both from a common word. Distant past in Swahili zaman in Amharic in Amharic zaman. Travel in Swahili it is safari. In Amharic a similar word is safari. In Swahili safari. In Amharic, safari. Safari in Amharic means um, uh, it, it means camped or located. It, yeah, it 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 it, uh, it includes of traveling. You know, you tra you travel to somewhere and you camp there. You stay there. So it, it is from same word, safari and safari. Then let's see. Okay, then place in Swahili, malali, malali, place malali. In Amharic, a similar word to malali is mahal. Mahal means in the middle. So, you know, the, the definition for malali is given as a place. So, it, it indicates where it is. So, mahal in Amharic means in the middle. It, it, it indicates the place being in the middle. So I think they came from a common root of word. Then the next word I chose is truth. Truth in the Swahili it is hakika. Hakika. In Amharic hak. Hak means uh, the truth. So hakika and hak they came from the same common word. And the next word is soul searching in Swahili in Kishafi in Kishafi a similar word in Kishafi is in Kishufi here look it means here look soul searching in in Kishafi in Swahili in Kishufi in Amharic uh, it, it is not a, a, a word that we use commonly I don't think anyone will uh, use this word shufi shufi or shuf means see uh, that word is uh, a common word which is used but in kishufi together with that we don't use it but i i i uh, but it is a word inki means uh, to give it means in inki uh, here it is you say way when you give something to to somebody to uh, to a female you say inki Take it, it means. So, uh, from the Swahili uh, word, starting from the Swahili word, I, I uh, found a word uh, uh, which is similar to that, to the Inki Shafi. Then the next word I collected is value. In Swahili, tamani. In Amharic, tamani. It means... Uh, 
someone that you trust in Amharic Tamay means it is someone that you trust. He is he's he's trustable. He's trustable. So it includes that word includes value also. So tamani and tamain also comes from a common word. Then the next word praise in Swahili it is sifa. In Amharic, a similar word to sifa is safa or sifa. Sifa also can be used. It means to widen. It means widen. Uh, so within that, you know, uh, you, you can express the uh, the meaning of praise. Mukniyatum, because you know when you say widen, it 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 includes, you know, it it indicates. Uh, uh, a good thing, a good thing that you get. So I think uh, they came from the same, in, uh, from uh, uh, a common root of word. Then the next word is profit or benefit. In Swahili, it is faida. In Amharic, also faida, the same word uh, we use. Then pride. In Swahili, it is kiburi. A similar word to kiburi in Amharic is kibur. Uh, kibur. Kibur means uh, like it is, it, it is uh, a blessed. Kibur. That's something that you respect. Kibur means it is something that you respect. So kiburi and kibur is a similar word. Then there is the blessed, bless in English, kubariki, kubariki. A similar word to, to kubariki is tabareki in Amharic. Tabareki means be, be blessed, uh, be blessed. Uh, so uh, even though the Swahili starts with the ku, with, uh, the, the first word is ku, in Amharic it is ta. But after that, the word is similar. Bariki, bariki. So I think they came from similar word. Then I chose treasure. Treasure, hazina in Swahili. A similar word to hazina I chose is kazna uh, in, in Amharic. Um, the first the first letter is different in Swahili it is H in uh, in, in Amharic it is K but after that the word is Azina Azina so Azina and Azina so uh, they are from common word but when they pronounce the first letter it is differently Hazina and Kazina Kazina it it means uh, in Kazna in Amharic, it means a safe, a safe, a, a safe. So in in a safe box, you put your treasure. So it indicates to that meaning. Then I chose skilled or lazy. Uh, it, it is skilled in English. Skilled in Swahili, it is sanifu. Uh, to a word similar to sanifu is sanaf in Amharic. But in Amharic, senaf means lazy, not skilled. It's the opposite of skilled one. But the word is the same, sanifu and senaf. So uh, the, 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 the word is differently used, but I think the word is from same roots of a Semitic language. Pride or afraid, pride, the English one, pride in uh, Swahili, it is uh, fahari, fahari. Uh, a word similar to fahari in Amharic is fari, but fari in Amharic means to be afraid. But fahari is a pride in uh, Swahili, but the words sound similar, fahari and fari. So uh, during time, you know, the meaning may have changed what is in Swahili, with those who speak Swahili and those who speak Amharic. Then uh, the next word that I chose is intelligence. Intelligence in Swahili means akili. A word similar to akili in Amharic, akale. 
a color means to add up to you know uh, to increase uh, on something to put on uh, more on something so intelligence means of course it is adding up you know in your mind your mind being added your mind being widened your mind uh, being more intelligent or more more thinking so akili and akala from a common word that's for sure then the next one is book in swahili kitabu in amharic kitab kitab uh, but book uh, besides kitab, kitab is not a, a, a commonly used word, but uh, the, the, the meaning is the same to mean, uh, you know, kataba, to, it, it could mean also to write uh, and also indicates to book, but there is also a usually a commonly used word, mas'haf in Amharic, but we use the kitab, so kitabu and kitab is the same. Then we come to exercise book in Swahili, Daftorin, in Amharic, Dapter. So in the middle, Daf, in the Swahili, they say Daf, there is an F sound here. But in, it, in Amharic, it is the B sound inside. But the beginning and the ending is similar, Daftorin, Dapter, in Amharic. Then pain, I chose pain. Uh, in uh, Swahili, it is ka kalamu. In Ethiopia, it is kalam. Kalam means the, the direct meaning of kalam. In Amharic, means color. Kalam means color. Uh, so it indicates that you write with, uh, with a color. A pen is a color. A pencil is a color that you have put. So ka kalamu and kalam, they came from common word. But a usually, a usually used word in Amharic for pain is scribito. But kalam means color. So pain, you write with, with a kalam, with a, with a color. The next one I chose is education. Uh, in Swahili, it is elimu. Uh, a word similar to elimu is alam, alame. Elimu is alame. Uh, alame means to dream, to dream. Education. I know, uh, you know, the meaning, the meaning uh, elimu is education. Alame in uh, Amharic is to dream. But it's, uh, you know, it, it indicates... Uh, to a common word, to a common root, because even though Alama is dreaming, dreaming can be, you know, education is also a dream. You dream, you, 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 you think, how am I going to get to do that? How am I going to, you know, produce that thing? So uh, uh, it, it, 